It's all you, so whatever you want to share, educate us. <laughs> Tell us about the boat tours, you know. You're okay. on. And well, please state your name. I'm Karen, Karen Chadwick, Florida native from Sarasota originally. And I moved up to this area uh, in 1990 just to get back to old Florida, you know, the way I was used to it growing up. South Florida is just, there's too many people and traffic and everything. Sarasota is still really nice, but I like the little one-stop light towns. I live in Interlochen. We have two stop lights now, so I can't say that anymore, you know. So I've um, got a little organic garden. I live on a lake and just really love it here, you know. <clears throat> so I do uh, fishing charters and boat charters on the Gulf Coast just for fishing. And then um, Silver Springs, Silver River, uh, La Lusa, we have an eagles tour. You can go out there. I guarantee you will see eagles on La Lusa. They migrate down to Burn Island every year. And then we're also doing the uh, Wilaka Heritage Tours with the Wilaka Maritime Museum. And um, we go out on a 1930 Elko, all wooden boat that's been fully restored. And uh, we go up to, to uh, Wilaka Spring and then back uh, well, upstream, down the river, upstream, into the Akawaha, so you can see what it looks like in there. We talk about the, the what happened during the Civil War, and um, the fossils and artifacts and, you know, all that type of history. And uh, we also have refreshments that have historical significance, things that used to be um, raised, canned goods, things like that from an organic farm in Citra. <clears throat> they would have brought their goods down to the Orange Creek Landing and the steamboats would stop there and buy their eggs or chicken or produce, whatever they would have. So that's okay. that. I don't know. It's a beautiful old uh, yacht. It's really, I love that boat. It's beautiful. And could you tell me about the project you're doing today? Okay. Uh, one of the, I'm with the Putnam County Environmental Council and we would like to see the Ocklawaha restored and the, you know, the dam removed. <clears throat> it's, not, it's not being used for what it was built for. It's just, it's a reservoir. You know, it holds all this water. It fills up with hydrilla. Every few years, they open the dam, they drain it back to its original channel and all that stuff dies out. So whatever has uh, established a habitat that all dies out, except for what's it, what can make it to the river channel. And um, so my exhibit is, shows uh, several of the fish that used to migrate from the Atlantic through the St. John's up the Akawaha into Silver Springs. And the striped bass in particular um, has to spawn in a, in a spring run. And um, I can't catch a striped bass around here, so the Bulaka, or the uh, National Fish, Fish Hatchery um, gave me some fish to print. And this is called Gayutaku. You put the, uh, the ink or the paint right on the fish, and then you lay the paper on the fish, and then pick it up, and then you draw in the eyes and the details. So we've got the striped bass, and uh, we also have the little fingerlings. I don't know if you saw the school. And they raise about seven million a year and release them in, you know, in the rivers in the Gulf states and up the east coast a little ways. Seven million, that's, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. And then they also uh, gave me some shad, American shad and hickory shad. And those are dying out in the Akawaha and uh, up past the dam, Silver Springs also. Mm -hmm. And here's a, this is the same fish, but it's, you can get all different colors of paper. It's white, blue, red brown and then we're doing a uh, workshop with the kids in there they can make their own we're printing shiners wild river shiners and how have the kids been reacting oh they love it they're like ooh, it's <laughs> girls because it has ink on it now so it does look kind of nasty but um they're they're really good they just do what i tell them nice and gentle you know and take their time and 
Yeah, it's kind of magical. They pull it up and, oh, <laughs> I drew a fish. <laughs> yeah. And um, what would you say about educating the younger generations on the environment and conservation? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any reflections you'd like to share on your experiences on the Oklawaha and in the area? Um, I, well, as far as the kids go, I love to take kids out in the boat. You know, you think maybe they're going to be rambunctious or something, but they're so good. And I let them drive, like the, the um, 1930s Elko, I let them drive. They sit up there. <laughs> and I got this one picture, the first one we did, it gives me goosebumps thinking about it. This boy was like probably about 10, and he was real quiet. And I said, you want to drive? And he was like, so he got up there, and I have this great picture of him. He's just... I told him how to, you know, miss the crab traps and the lines out there, so give it, you know, lots of room and and uh, which side of the markers to go on. And he just, he just, uh, he was just glowing, you know. I have this beautiful picture of him. He just looks not proud, but I don't know what's the word. He just probably changed his life, you know. I mean, he, here he's steering this huge boat. You can really feel the weight and the power of it. And um, he was driving us along, and he was great. So. I, I think that's my favorite thing. I love to take the kids out and, you know, get them off the couch and away from the, the games, you know, and go out and look outside and experience things. We, we pull up uh, cattails. You can eat cattails. So we, um, we'll pull those up, you know, where it's appropriate. And um, it's seasonal, so they're getting ready to be good in the spring. Bear it down. It's kind of like a, um, a um, the, um, palm palm shoots, what do you call that? Heart yeah. of palm? Heart of palm, it's kind of like that. A little, little bit more bitter. But um, they don't know, you can eat, I mean people lived here for thousands of years off the land, you know, and could still do that. But and I think if, if they could learn about the wild edibles, what they can eat, then they would appreciate taking care of the environment a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, and we lock up it's a great place to educate about the hydrological cycle because on the one side it's all swamp so the aquifer gets recharged naturally and the other side there's a bluff and the people have these these um, sod yards that are bright green you know and you, so you can show the kids look when you put fertilizer on there it all runs off into the river and promotes algae and then where the Wilaka Spring is they did a um, it boils up you know, into the, there's a little cove there. Clear spring water boils up. And um, so you can see this aquifer coming out right there, you know. And they did a, St. John's Water Management did a test in 2001 and said that water coming out is about 48 years old. So that's not very old. So all the stuff we're putting, you know, and I, I use soap and detergents. I mean, I do it too, try to be careful. You know, I don't use Drano or anything like that, you know. But all that stuff goes down into the aquifer, and, and I don't think, you don't really realize it, you know. I mean, I've got adult friends that have no idea until you start talking about it. Like, how does, that, that's in there? Ooh, you know, where's that going? So 48 years, what are we doing in the next 48 years, you know, that's going to be coming up. <laughs> and, you know, your wells are going right down into it and everything. How long have you worked with PCEC? Well, I've known uh, several of the members for years and just, just got involved officially, I suppose, a couple of years ago. Yeah. And what would you say to people who might feel discouraged about uh, the direction that environmental policy is going in right now? Uh, well, you know, don't quit. Who's going to do it, you know, if you don't, who's going to? You know, we need need younger people like you guys to keep the ball rolling. Yeah, and you know, it's there's a lot of nasty water. Rice Creek is is just it's terrible. There's a picture in there from I took from uh, last uh, September. Did you see it with all the algae and mm -hmm. all this stuff? It's just like really nasty. Um, I don't know how do you get kids out there to. To care about that. Mm -hmm.
I mean, if you can see it, if you can get out there and see it, maybe you can, you know, have a voice. Well, we'll see you out there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share? Um, I guess not. I'm, I'm glad you all are here doing this. It's great. It's encouraging. Yeah. It's kind of scary what's going on with the governor and all that. But, you know, maybe that'll help be a wake-up call, too. Good we'll see. Yeah. yeah. That's optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.